Hello, Cancer. Let's do a reading today. We're going to look and see what's going on. What do you need to know? What's going on with your person? What's going on with the person you're involved with? Love, money, whatever. Whatever comes out, right? All right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit that little thumbs up button for me. It uh, bumps me up in the in the matrix somehow. I don't know. Um, if you would like to be entered to win a free personal reading, you're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comments section down below. Hashtag Kiansa. <laughs> all right. If you want to book a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box below. What else? Um, these are general readings. Cannot resonate for everybody. Check those other placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, cross watchers welcome. Roles can be reversed. Time is fluid. There is no gender in tarot. Um, I think that's it. All right. Whenever you see this is when you're meant to. All right, Cancer. What's going on? My crusty little crabs. What's going on? Three of cups. Bottom of the deck. All right. Current situation. Five of pentacles. Don't stress. The challenge is the fool. The foundation for the reading. Why is it all going down? The seven of pentacles. The recent past. The seven of cups. The crowning or overall energy is the Four of Cups. Coming into the near future is Temperance. How you see yourself right now is the Empress. Energy external to you that you may or may not be aware of. Death. Advice from Spirit is the Two of Swords. And potential outcome is the Ten. Three of cups on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So this five of pentacles is pretty harsh, right? Regardless of how it looks, though, it, it's a card of hope, right? These people are walking outside in the snow. They don't have any shoes on. They're cold. They're freezing. They're lonely. They're abandoned. But they're walking right past that beautiful church. They can go inside. They can get warm. They can get a hot meal, um, a soft bed, and get some, you know, gather some resources, right? All they have to do is look up and see it. There is always hope. All right. What is this five of pentacles? What is this five of pentacles? Beginnings. This is the full card. What is this full five of pentacles energy? What's going on here? Eight of Pentacles, dedication. Okay, so you may have, we've got a lot of this money issues coming going on like right now. I don't know what the deal is. Um, I don't know what the planetary alignment is right now, but um, you may have invested in something um, and it just didn't pan out and you lost some money because the challenge is this this leap of faith that you took right? This chance that you took. Two of cups, partnering up with someone potentially. And it could be a marriage. Okay. But regardless, it, it just doesn't seem to be going the way that you think it should. Competition. If this was a business situation, the competition is fierce and you're not, you're not gaining any money. If this is a, a love relationship, this person could be involved with more than one person. You didn't realize you had competition, but now you're finding out you do. So why is this all happening? Seven of Pentacles. You know, the Seven of Pentacles is, is planning for the future. It's taking, you know, it's watching this, this, um, these seeds that you planted come to fruition and it's taking assessment, you know, how good these crops look, how many will they feed? Watching over your investment. Page of Pentacles, manifestation is what this card says. It's a little bit different of a deck. But this is you um, manifesting the best possible outcome, right? 
And this is also you um, being very passionate about what you're doing, chasing after what you want. You know, the, the page of, of pentacles, um, you know, they're offering up that pentacle because they truly mean it. They truly want it, right? You offered, you know, you planted that one seed, you got seven things coming to, you know, you got seven fruit, whatever. You know what I mean? Good Lord, this is like second grade math. Okay. And Prince of Discs, reliability. I think this is the Knight of Discs, Knight of Pentacles, right? You have persevered. You've been reliable. You are reliable. Um, and you have grown these crops or grown this, whatever this is. Okay. Slowly, um, but very reliable. And then I think you made a bad investment. Seven of cups is the recent past. Something was not as it seemed. Ten of Swords, you got betrayed. You got backstabbed, betrayed. Two of Pentacles. They could have been juggling you and someone else, just trying to see who was going to give them the most or whatever. Whether that was business or love. So your crowning energy now is this Four of Cups. Feeling very unfulfilled, unsatisfied, feeling like, um, no matter what you still have, you can't stop thinking about what you lost. Three of Wands, vision. Hold the vision, though. They're saying hold the vision, right? You still have, you still have things to work with. This is the uh, King of Pentacles. Very reliable, very on top of things, very uh, successful financially, business-wise. You're coming through this very powerful, very resilient, very untouched more than you think, right? You just kind of kind of get through this, this point of like, what did I just do? But in your near future, you have temperance. So if this was like a person that you met, that you were all in with, and then you found out that they put you in a third party situation, um, yeah, you lost some, right? She didn't lose all of it, okay? You learned a lesson. So what is this temperance card? Card of Sagittarius. Perspective. I don't like it when I don't know the numbers. Hold on a minute. Oh, it's the hermit. It's the hermit. So they're saying, here's, with with temperance and the hermit, it's like, um, or no, maybe it's the hanged man. It is the hanged man. Sorry. These cards have, like, different words on them. So they're, they're just a little bit different, but they're very beautiful. So the hanged man, they're saying, be patient. <clears throat> they're saying, cause the universe is working on your behalf with this temperance card, right? Balancing, tempering energy. They're saying, be patient. Take a minute to look at this from all angles. There's something here to be learned. Sometimes the good Lord puts you on the floor cause there's something there you need to see. You're meant to live there, but learn a lesson from it, right? the devil. This person was toxic and you didn't see it. And now maybe if you're replaying it in your mind and you're seeing those signs. So how you see yourself right now is the empress. Not sure. It's Taurus Libra energy. Could be pregnant. I don't know. Let's see what this is, the empress. But you are holding yourself in very high regard, as you should. Transition. And you're just making some changes. You may be moving, but you're just making some changes. You're moving away from this negative place, whether it's, you know, geographically or metaphorically. Ten of Pentacles, establishment. 
So you came through, you still have plenty, right? So energy external to you, though you may or may not be aware of it, is the death card. Card of Scorpio. Six of Pentacles. I feel like there is somebody who saw this happen and has been very generous with you, whether it was generous of spirits, um, generous of money, just generous of, of physical help, especially if you're pregnant and alone. They have seen you go through this and they've been very generous and helpful. And we've got Page of Wands, instigation. This could be somebody who really, who really likes you, who sees you as the Empress, right? Advice from Spirit, Two of Swords. Stay guarded, but don't let it don't let it ruin your life, right? You're still allowed to have emotion. You're still allowed to have, have a good time. You don't have to live in fear all the time. Eight of Cups, retreat. Leave things in the past that are no longer good for you. Know when to retreat, right? And then we have the Page of Swords, Determination. Just keep an eagle eye out. You don't have to live in fear. You, you can, you can you know, learn more about a person or a situation or an investment or a relationship before you go all in, right? Your um, final outcome is this Ten of Cups, though. It's emotional fulfillment. Deception. So your happiness was a deception. It wasn't real. You were never going to get to the Ten of Cups with this person. But the good thing is that that's over. That energy has been expended, and now you can turn that ending into a new beginning. The moon. Just because you can't see the opportunities doesn't mean that they're not there. I like the moon card in this deck. I like this deck. Okay. So three of cups, there could have been, you know, you could have been involved with some F boy who had you in a, in a third party situation, whether that's money, love, whatever, but the truth was found out and they got their, they got their judgment, right? They were playing you, right? But you made a choice. You just made the wrong choice. That's okay because you learn from it. And now they're saying when somebody offers you something, do a little more investigating, right? Look at things a little more closely. Hold on to, you, to your belongings, the things that are important to you a little bit tighter, right? All is not lost. Because down here, you still have this, you have 10 of Pentacles, right? So you may have lost a relationship, but really all you lost was a kind of a crappy person, right? All right. That's what I got for you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you would like to buy a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box below and I'm sending you tons of love and light until next time.